salutations to all my people out there. Hey man, welcome to a new channel featuring your boy Harkira Hardy, man. If you just now tapping in with me and checking out this video, probably because the thumbnail looks cool or probably because you're curious of how to learn what the thumbnail is basically advertising. Again, man, my name is Harkira Hardy, born and raised from Laurel, Mississippi currently residing in Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, man, I originally, um, I have another channel. If you guys wanted to check that out, man, I've been creating documentaries for about seven years now. Um, I started my movement, which is not your average success story. You heard it. Yes. Not your average success story. So, Not Your Average Success Story was my way of essentially uh, taking an idea and making something out of nothing. I wanted to give people a different way of looking at success. And so, basically what I did with that, I created a personal documentary about myself, which I'll link right here in the description as well. And then I just started traveling and creating documentaries for other people. So, man, if you want to check that out, like I said, I'll definitely drop those links. And, man, tap into that movement. It's a beautiful thing, but that's neither here nor there. That's not why we're here today. Today, we are starting a new channel, and I had this idea. I've been seeing a lot of videos, man, a lot of beginner videos, a lot of informational videos about information, which... You know, this isn't anything new. We all know. We've all searched. We've all found different things that have helped us in our careers to grow, learn, and just to get better. So I thought, man, let me try it myself. You know what I'm saying? So today's video, man, I wanted to talk to y'all about sports photography. So, man, I recently jumped into that space and it's, man, it's new. It's different. It's... If you ain't cut for it, listen, I believe in you. So I think if you clicked on this video, you definitely cut for it. So I just wanted to share some of my tips and tricks. And I actually, I'm going to take you guys with me to a tournament here locally, man. Uh, we got the Omaha uh, uh, holiday tournament that is happening today. So I wanted to take y'all with me. I wanted to explain to you my setup, what I do. I'm going to show you some of uh, the photos that I capture. I'm going to show you what I use. Um, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, man. I hope y'all like my setup right now. You know, I went and definitely searched a few YouTube videos to kind of get my lighting right. Hopefully it looks good. I guess we'll figure out in post. Uh, but yeah, man, again, sports photography. I'm going to just, I'm going to show you what I use. Uh... And basically, like I said, just what I capture. So, man, let's uh, let's get to it. And as I mentioned, I wanted to share with you guys what I use on these shoots, man. This right here, let me introduce you to one of my baby girls, Miss Keisha. She gets the job done. Yes, I did say Miss Keisha. This is the Sony A7 III. Um, I purchased it earlier this year. So far, so good. It's been treating me well. And um, I'm super excited to show you guys what I come up with as we uh, go to this tournament. All right. Also, we have the Canon 50mm F1.8. Yes, that nifty 50, man. You can get a lot done with that 50 mil. Uh, it definitely comes in handy uh, in the gyms, you know, uh, to you younger uh, or getting ready to start um, photographers that are interested in getting into photography uh, with basketball. One common thing that you will run into um, is the poorly lit gyms. So you have to have a lens that will uh, essentially help combat the low light uh, that is in the gyms. So this Canon 50 mil, although, you know, I mean, it's a lot that you can do with it, but obviously it's a prime lens. Uh, that 50 is what you're going to get. Uh, but that F1.8, you know, you can't be mad at that because it, it works. So that 50 mil is definitely something that I would suggest to add to your bag. 
Alrighty, and we are also being accompanied by the Tam Run 70 to 180 Zoom uh, with that F 2.8, man. Definitely worth the investment. It ran me about $1,000. I got it on sale. Uh, but yeah, man, just for what it could do uh, with that 70 to 180 Zoom um, and that, and that, and that 2.8, listen, man, uh, when you get into the gyms, uh, you you will you will kind of get an idea of what I'm referring to um, in terms of just gyms typically being poorly lit, you know, uh, by them being poorly lit. It does uh, affect your photos. So it's very hard to capture some quality images um, when essentially the gym is lit poorly. But that two point eight uh, and that zoom, man, it's 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 beautiful. Uh, I promise it's definitely worth it. Uh, but yeah let's see what we can get all right ladies and gentlemen we're here getting ready to head out man like i said i wanted to take y'all with me we're gonna prepare here in just a second uh my daggone gopro died i told y'all that battery life man whatever but hey we're here so getting the address in and we will be off here shortly let's get it we got 20 minutes before we arrive. All right. All righty, guys, we have arrived. Man, let's go in here get some work done and uh yeah let's just make this video video all the purpose for this video let's let's complete it all right we're at north high school like i said i'm gonna show you guys some of the shots that i captured and just gonna get some of the live action all right ladies and gentlemen so as i stated we're just gonna throw up some photos that i captured during the game uh, and I also wanted to highlight a few things that are very important as you go into these gyms. Obviously, as you see here, uh, one of my other camera lenses, it doesn't do justice to how nicely lit this gym was and it is actually looking a little dull but that again, this image is a perfect example of showing you how difficult it may be with different types of lenses to be able to capture again a clean shot so the first thing you want to do when you get into the gym is set your white balance um which again i can advise of how i do that which is essentially going to the white balance option and taking a photo of a piece of white paper and letting the camera do the white balance um from there you want to make sure that your iso aperture and your shutter speed all are in correspondence to where again you can catch a sharp super duper nice looking image once you get those things down then you know you'll be in the ballpark of working with some great things so again i'm just gonna throw up some shots of what i captured uh let me know what you think and yeah i just hope that uh you can take some tips from this as you go on to your journey and yeah just let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you like it um, and tell a friend. So here we go.